Good morning, children, and a hearty welcome to each one of you. Hope you all are doing good. I would like to tell you about Patrick of your age who once attended a retreat as he was paying keen attention to the sessions he heard the priest saying about worshiping one and only one true god so when it was the time for the sacrament of reconciliation patrick confessed to the priest that although he goes for mass regularly every year his mother takes him for the feast to the shrine of infant jesus at nasik on their way back from infant jesus shrine they always stopped at the shrines of other faiths as well patrick also explained to the priest that his teacher says there is good in every religion so what is wrong if we pay homage to the gods of other faiths dear children you too may know of people around you or maybe in your family who regularly pay homage at the shrines of other faiths why do they do so because they are not firm in their faith children we need to remember two important points they are respect people of other faiths and respect the way of practicing their faith we as christians are called to only worship the father the son and the holy spirit so today you will learn about a prophet who teaches us something the first commandment tells us i am sure that you all know the first commandment yes it is i am the lord your god you shall not have any other gods before me so in this lesson prophet hosea the prophet of divine love condemns the acts of idol worship first let us see how the situation was in israel israel had forsaken yahweh its true king and its salvation there was political chaos in israel two worst things were the cult and baal worship they started worshiping strange gods and performed their rites on their own altars this was the religion that hosea saw around him and he protested he used a strong word prostitute to describe the way the people of israel were practicing their faith now let's see about his personal life god had given hosea a strange impression that something evil is happening and warned 
Israel of punishments to come. His family life had a tragic side. He and his wife Goma, whom he loved, had three children. But after a while, Goma ran away from Hosea, leaving the three children and became a prostitute. Hosea still loved Goma. Though she had become a slave, he found her and bought her back. She was restored to a status of wife, but had to go through a time of cleansing, that is, repentance. Hosea compared Israel to a wife betraying her husband. As I had explained you earlier about the situation in Israel, the people of Israel had abandoned God and had been unfaithful to the Lord by worshipping other gods. The people had forgotten God, the one who had loved them and brought them out of Egypt. Hosea compared the pain he had suffered over Goma with God's feeling for Israel. Hosea warned them their unfaithfulness, their dependence on false gods caused God great hurt which could lead to distress and disaster for themselves. But if they repented, God would gladly pardon and restore them. Just as the prophet refused to abandon his wife even though she was unfaithful. In spite of all the prophetic warnings, the people did not change their ways. It was at that time the Assyrians invaded Israel. The capital city Samaria was captured. The Assyrians were harsh. Without pity, they started destroying the land and conquered Israel. Many of the Israelites were taken away into exile. They could never return to their homeland. The repeated warnings of Prophet Elijah, Elisha, Amos, and Hosea had all been ignored. Certainly, there was a small number of the Israelite people who remained faithful followers of Yahweh. They escaped to Judah, the southern kingdom. They told the stories of their land and their ancestors. This was the story of Prophet Hosea. Now let's see a quick recap of this lesson in the form of a video. gave the prophet Hosea instructions for his life. God wanted to send a message to his people through Hosea. God said, marry a woman who will not be faithful to you and be a father to her children. Yay! God was going to use Hosea's life to show his people in Israel what God's love for them was like. Hosea's wife would love other men instead of Hosea just like the people of Israel loved and worshipped other gods instead of the one true God. 
God was asking Hosea to do something very difficult. Mm. It is hard to love someone who doesn't love you back. But Hosea obeyed God. He married a woman named Gomer. Gomer had three children, Jezreel, Loruamah, and Loamah. Each child's name had a special meaning. Jezreel was the name of a city, so this name was warning to Israel that they could be defeated by their enemies. Loruhama, which means no mercy, let Israel know that God was not going to show them mercy anymore. They would get the punishment their sin deserved. Loamai, which means not my people, told the Israelites that they were no longer God's people. Gomer was not faithful to Hosea. She often ran away. In the same way, God's people turned away from him. They worshiped false gods. God told Hosea to go after his wife. So Hosea found Gomer and paid to get her back. Stop being unfaithful, Hosea said. Even though Gomer had not loved her husband like a wife should, Hosea loved her anyway. God gave Hosea a love that would never give up. God wanted the people of Israel to hear about Hosea and his wife and understand that Israel was no different than Gomer. The Israelites did not love God like they should, but God loved Israel anyway. God loves with a love that never gives up. Hosea warned the Israelites that God was going to judge them for their sin. Hosea pleaded with Israel to turn back to God. Come, let us return to the Lord, he said. Let us strive to know the Lord. God was going to punish the people for turning away from him, but he would keep the promise he made to Abraham. Abraham's family would be a big family. And one day, Jesus would come from Abraham's family. Yes, God still loved Israel. God hated their sin, but just like Hosea paid a high price to get back his wife who did not love him, God had a plan to get his people back, no matter what the cost. God used Hosea's unfaithful wife to show the people of Israel that they were unfaithful to him. God gave Hosea a deep love. Hosea was willing to buy back Gomer even after all she had done. God's love is deep and it never gives up. He goes after his people and loves them back to himself. Dear children, Hosea was indeed in pain to see the people of Israel, how they acted like prostitutes by worshipping and offering cults to Baal and other deities. In this situation, let us get ready to listen to Yahweh in the words of Hosea, the prophet. Now I invite you to take a comfortable posture. Keep your palms open, facing upwards. Quieten your mind by taking a few deep breaths. Gently close your eyes and listen to the scripture or reading from the prophet Hosea. 
Hosea then said to the people, The Lord says, When Israel was a child, I loved him and called him out of Egypt as my son. But the more I called to him, the more he turned away from me. My people sacrificed to Baal. They burnt incense to idols. Yet I was the one who taught Israel to walk. I took my people up in my arms, but they did not acknowledge that I took care of them. I drew them to me with affection and love. I picked them up and held them to my cheek. I bent down to them and fed them. They refused to return to me. And so they must return to Egypt. And Assyria will rule them. War will sweep through their cities and break down the city gates. It will destroy my people because they do what they themselves think best. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. God compares Israel, his chosen people, to a child whom he cares for. What did God do for Israel as a child? He fed Israel, called the people his own, taught them to walk in his ways. But what did the child Israel do to Yahweh when he became an adult? He abandoned Yahweh for other gods. Dear children, let us ask ourselves, have we been like Israel? Have we forsaken the one true God for other gods? Have we been unfaithful to our God for other sources of attraction like pleasure, wealth, etc.? Let us ask forgiveness to our God for the times we have been unfaithful to him. God is pleading you like a loving mother. Will you return to him?
from the bottom of your heart respond to him he has opened his arms to embrace you and saying come back to me come back to me come back to me slowly open your eyes and let's sing the hymn come back to me sign ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear children it's time for your assignment you are going to write a letter to patrick explaining to him how god feels when we are unfaithful to him by connecting hodeya's life and you are going to send it to your sunday school teacher dear children the life of prophet hodeya teaches us that god still loves us even though we may not be faithful to him always we need to make an effort to always give god the father son and holy spirit the first place in our lives like prophet hosea our priest repeatedly tell us how much god loves us and through the sacrament of reconciliation makes the love and forgiveness of god real today we celebrate 
Viani Sunday in remembrance of St. John Marie Viani, who spent most of his time hearing the confession of people and administering the love and forgiveness of God, thereby bringing back to God to those who are strayed away. On this special day, every year we make beautiful cards, present bouquets, have special prayer services and felicitate our dear priest in all our parishes. This year, our children would like to convey their wishes online in the form of a video. So children, let's all always appreciate and pray for all our priests. Remember children, priests like prophet show us the right way to God. Come on children, let's wish our priests together. Let's sing, come on. <laughs> Happy feast, dear fathers. Happy feast, dear fathers. Happy feast, dear fathers. Hello, Reverend Fathers. Wishing you all the happy feast. Happy feast, fathers. Happy feast, fathers. Happy feast to all Reverend Fathers. Happy feast, dear fathers. Happy feast. Fathers. Happy feast. We love you so much, fathers. Happy feast.